dear viewers in this video we will have a short demo on how to create s3 bucket how to upload a file into that how to download a file how to copy an object from one folder to other folder and how to delete an object and how to delete a bucket additionally we will see some of the features which we have seen in our previous video Once we log in into the AWS console, click on the services and then click on S3 under the storage. It will take us to a page which will list the buckets. Currently, we do not have any buckets. We can click on the create bucket. So once we click on the create bucket, we will get this page. Here we have to enter the bucket name. So there are some rules and uh, naming conventions to be followed. You can see that by clicking on this link. The name should be unique globally. And it should be start, it should all be in lowercase. I will give the name as TTG demo. Here you see you can choose the region from here. You can choose other bucket if you want to copy from an already existing bucket. By default, access to the public is blocked. You can see the checkbox here. You can enable or disable the bucket versioning over here. You can add tags if you want. The encryption also you can enable or disable. If you want to lock the object, you can go to the advanced settings and do the object lock. For now, I will keep all the default settings as it is and click on the create bucket. So now you can see the bucket is created. As the next step, we will try to upload an object into this bucket. For that, I will click on the bucket name. Here you can see the upload button. Click on the upload button. It will take us to this page where we can add files or folders from our local system. Click on add files. As you can see, it opens the Explorer, Windows Explorer. I will take one of this and click on Upload. In the meantime, you can also see the permissions which you want to configure to any specific users using the ACL. You can configure the permissions over here. I will click on the upload. Once we click on the upload, you can see that status has succeeded and the object is uploaded here. You can close this. You can see that in the bucket. You can go to Amazon S3. Thing. It will show the list of buckets. You can see the bucket here. In the bucket, you can see this object uploaded. Now, let's see how to download the object from this bucket. You got to click on the object. You have to select this object. Go to actions you can see there's an option to download as you can download click on the download as and 
can click on right click and save link as so I will save it in a different location so this downloads the file now what we have to do is we can create a new folder and try to copy this object into that folder so click on the create folder we will give the name as ttg demo folder you can leave the default settings and you can click on the create folder now we will move this object into the ttg demo folder for that you have to select that object and go to the actions and click on copy so this will open this screen you can browse the s3 here it will show the list of objects we can click on the folder and we can click on choose destination so it will copy the object to this folder as you can see the copy status successfully copied we can move into this folder view and close this window we can move to this folder and see that the same object is copied into this folder as well so we have seen how to create a bucket how to upload a file upload an object how to download an object and how to copy an object into a folder so the next step is to delete the objects and to delete the bucket before doing this we will see what other features we have discussed in our previous video as you can see in the actions you can edit the storage class if you remember in the previous video we have seen different storage classes like standard for frequently accessed data standard ia for infrequently accessed data one zone ia, IA that is also for long lived frequently in access data glacier for the archival kind of data which is not accessed very frequently Gleep, glacier deep archive as well also the intelligent tiring so these are the storage class options we have so by default it is in the standard frequently access data so i'm not going to make any changes just showing you that we can see this, how to choose a storage class which was discussed in the previous video for permissions here you can see the block you can block access to the public you can create a bucket policy you can lock the object you can use ACLs these are the options available for the access management features you can create the life cycle here which will decide on how long you need to keep a object in which particular storage class
as you can see the action life cycle rule actions has transition the current version of the objects between storage class if you choose that you can see that how to transition the current version of the object from one storage class to other storage class after how many number of days this is how you can configure the life cycle you can also create the replication rule which you can copy the objects from one region to other region okay now coming back to our bucket now we have to delete this bucket and the objects etc let us first try to delete the bucket without deleting the objects inside that for deleting that choose the object and click on delete as you can see the bucket is not empty it's throwing a message saying that the bucket is not empty so we need to delete all the objects inside the bucket before so we have to delete all the objects inside the bucket before deleting the bucket we will do we will select this and delete so it's asking to confirm if we need to permanently delete so i will choose this option to permanently delete So this deletes all the object. After this, we can close this window, and we can go to the bucket view. Now we can select this bucket, and we can delete this bucket. So for deleting the bucket, again we need to give the confirmation by typing the bucket name ttg demo. So that deletes the bucket. So thanks for watching this video in our next video we will see how to host a static website using s3